So when we're talking about windows, what we're looking at is the eyes to the soul of the house. That's how you really ought to consider windows. And historically, the orientation of windows have always been vertical, which can be representative of the frame for the human body. And so that's why they were almost always vertically oriented rather than horizontally oriented. And then if they were horizontally oriented, you'd have groupings of windows together. Um, rather than just one wide window. That'll change in modernism, and we can talk about that some other time. But in terms of looking for a truly timeless window, if you want to be historically accurate, you're looking at the muttons and mullions and how the different panes were divided up, 12 over 12, 9 over 9, all that type of stuff. But in the end, we want to stay with as natural materials as possible and look at the openings in terms of the verticality and minimize how many different types of windows you have in any given house.